Knicks. They rolled the Pistons, man. 124-99. Thanks to Dante DiVincenzo, who scored a career-high 40 points, set the Knicks' single-game record for the most three-pointers made with 11. But it was what was said after the game that raised a couple of eyebrows. Here was Pistons coach Monty Williams after the game. But first, um, Dante. I mean, if Jalen passed the ball more, I could have had probably 15 of them tonight. But nah, everybody was unselfish. Everybody was playing for one another, and it was a fun game to be a part of. I don't care about their team at all. Uh, it could, I could care less. Um, those guys, uh, the way they got those threes, I don't want to be a part of that story. If you don't want to be a part of it, stop. You should have told the guy to defend better. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what else to say, bro? We got a guy that's hot. We're going to try to find a guy that's hot. I mean, that's, that's common sense of basketball. Huh? Okay, pause. <laughs> Monty was clearly upset with the Knicks running up the score at the end. Josh Hart kind of had the perfect response, though. So, uh, Perk, chop it or drop it? Oh, we got to chop it. I got to chop money. Chop, chop Monty Williams up for a second. First of all, you should want to be a part of the Knicks story because they actually win it. Nobody wants to be a part of the Detroit Pistons story right now. You're 12 and 60. You have the worst record in the NBA. You can't get mad at the Knicks because they're doing their job. This is not a local farm league where it's a mercy rule. Rule. If you wanted to stop it, you should have game planned or trapped the man and slowed him down. Look, the Knicks did nothing wrong. This is professional basketball. We're talking about grown men. Again, Monty Williams is upset at the wrong person or the wrong team. He should be upset with the individuals that he's coaching in that locker room. So Kendrick Perkins and Josh Hart clearly agree on this one. Enough said. Next up, the Clippers. They lost 133 to 116 to the Pacers last night, who were on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, by the way, across the street. They're now 8-10 and 10 since the All-Star break. They've fallen to fifth in the Western Conference. And let's just say that head coach Ty Lue, he was not too happy about his team's performance last night. Take a listen. Right now, do we have an identity? Um, I think, yeah, we're soft. I, I could be an identity, if you want to call it that. Like, we got to be tougher, like mentally and physically. Okay, so for one, one short day, mm. the Clippers got to first in the Western Conference. That was in early February. Since then, they're 10 and 12, and their defense has been absolutely awful. Brian Windhorst, chop it or drop it? Oh, we're chopping it, and we're chopping a different spot in the standings when we look at the play-in, because guess who is in heavy reverse, and we now have to look at the Clippers when it comes to the play-in, because guess what, folks? Not only are they in fifth, they are two games out of seventh. That's play-in zone, and they're about to go on an Eastern <laughs> Conference road trip. Ooh, boy, they're fifth right now. The Pelicans have their number. So if they're not incredibly careful, Brian, they could be looking at a first-round exit if they don't figure this out quickly. Oh, being a play-in team in this season with where they've been, with, with what they've got on the line, would be a disaster. Ending up playing the Lakers in a one-game playoff and the play-in to get into the playoffs in their last game potentially in crypto would be a quadruple disaster. Thank <laughs> you.